My name is Kiaka Lee. I'm the chef owner at Kapahale. We're located in the Wailai Kahala area. We opened our restaurant December 2020, so we just made um, three years. The inspiration for Kapahale was there's a Hawaiian um, art in which they used to make clothing out of um, bark tree. They called it bark cloth. And they would pound it, ferment it, dry it out, um, and they would make clothing back in the 1700s in Hawaii. So kapa is, is that piece, but people used to tell a story. We used to put printings on it. We used to talk about how well a king was made or how strong he was by putting um, mountains on it and birds to signify the importance of it. And how that relates to what we do as for cooking is the process of kapa um, really is the same thing as cooking. We pound things, we ferment things, we dry things out. When we talk about Kapahale's cuisine, our focus is on Hawaii regional cuisine, which supports as much local as possible. Um, we try our best to be sustainable, not to waste, but also um, we have fun with our food. We have a lot of beef dishes on our menu. We are vegetable forward restaurant because we want to make sure we support our farms, but we use ranchers like Parker Ranch before. Um, we also using Honolulu Meat Company that supports 140 ranches across the state of Hawaii. <laughs> well, we wanted to try to see how can we incorporate local beef in our menu. So we're having actually just a plain old burger using local beef. We're gonna top that off with some mushroom ragu, some nice cheddar cheese, tomato, and um, a nice brioche bun. Something simple, something local, it definitely tastes good. Another dish we have is we have a beef luau stew, which we do serve for special events or run for specials. Um, but it's taking the kalo plant or a taro, and um, we're taking the both sides, both the root and the leaf, and we combine it into one dish, and we call it a Hawaiian stew. We're adding coconut milk to it to add a nice flavor. Our last dish that we're preparing is our koji aged beef. The koji is a mold that we introduced the beef to help age it. So we're gonna taste a steak that's only been koji for three days. It's gonna taste like a 45 day old aged steak. But we apply a Japanese technique and a rice mold to it to help encase it. And then we rub it off and we grill it off, cook it exactly the same um, as you would for a normal steak. Hawaiian cuisine is probably perceived very different to what you see in TV. I feel like TV does a great job of bringing awareness to Hawaii, but it's also just bringing the whole luau mentality of having the pig that was buried and cooked in a pit for hours and then brought up every single day. And then you have pineapples and, and tropical fruits. But I feel like uh, Hawaiian cuisine has been evolving uh, for a very long time. We always try to incorporate different flavors that people have never seen here before, so it's very attractive to locals as well as for tourists. I do challenge people that do come here to Hawaii to try to look up, um, to do their research and look up chefs um, that support local. You're basically supporting the local farms all around it, so supporting the smaller restaurants to uh, definitely help us here in Hawaii.